<clears throat> hey everybody, this is Game Freak 1024. Welcome back to more. Let's play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for more of the most favorite, least favorite courses in every cup in the game. On the Golden Dash Cup. And while I will say, even though I can recognize Toad Circuit as being the weakest course of uh, this cup, like without a doubt, it is definitely the weakest course of this cup. It's still not my least favorite course of the cup. I like it for some reason. Like, I ain't seen this, but Ch Coconut Mall, it's awesome. Classic, too good, the music's good, and Choco Mountain, love it, my N64 bias, plus also, um, love the remake, love what they did with Tour, that they of course copy-pasted with better resolution, uh, from Tour over to this, ver uh, to this game, Market A Deluxe, but that said, again, I can recognize fully, Toe Circuit is the weakest course of the cup, but at the same time, it's not my least favorite, that puts that on two prayers promenade i like it i love it it's uh, i got awesome music i love the sunset uh the time at sunset because it makes the horse look gorgeous and it is a, a, a like i love this of course a, a lot also for being the very first tour course of the boost course pass and marker eight deluxe slash the proper marker games as a whole but because i like toad circuit just enough i still put it slightly above paris promenade So, for me, as dumb as it may seem to other people, Paris Promenade is my least favorite of the cup. Switch the uh, Lucky Deuce combo over to a bike off screen. It's the same settings before, same custom item set, 200cc, no teams. The 24 races for the 24 courses I'm showing off. Playing on whatever. Hey, we got Funky Kong. Get fired, Donkey Kong. Come on, really? Now, maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely would, at least for the city tracks, if not for all the tour tracks, would uh, put Paris Promenade on the higher end of my favorite tour tracks. <laughs> City tracks, at least, if not all the tour tracks. But at the very least, in city tracks, I put this on the upper half of my favorite tour tracks in the game. It's also a good introduction in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 2, uh, there being different pathways for how they had to handle, um, there being different variations of, I think, all, if not most of the tour art courses in Mario Kart Tour, and then having to figure out ways to combine the different versions of each course into a uh, single each single course for all the tour tra uh, tour tracks that uh, ends up being able to flow well enough together, and that's kind of an issue that could not be escaped. When even though 200 CC is a thing in Mario Kart Tour, at the same time for I imagine how different it is between tour and this game. 200 CC, um, uh, there are definitely courses in tour that 200 CC doesn't work anywhere nearly as well. That some courses not nearly as well as others because of how they had to handle the tour courses in this game for um, being able to make your turn. Like there's instances where like it, it, the tour is easy. Like you, there are certain spots where you have to. You know, the, I don't know how many or few there are, but there are definitely t uh, parts of the tour. Some of the tour courses where you have to know right when to turn when it's coming up and possibly even preparing a four of it to or to be power sliding, otherwise you're going to end up hitting a wall and there's just nothing you can do, regardless of how good you are at the game, and specifically 200cc of course, when referring to the short tracks and 200cc, but anyway, 
Of course, my Nintendo 64 Bio Shock Amon is my favorite horse of the cup. Um, I'd say it's also, in my opinion, the strongest horse in the cup, even though I could all. all, all, all uh, I, I, not of course, obviously, but of course, easily admit that yes, I could understand other people making the argument that Coconut Mall is the strongest horse in the cup. Oh, I didn't read off the characters. Hopefully, oh, I should remember to do that. I, I was doing commentary, so that's why I didn't think of it. Hopefully, I actually remember that this time, then this race. If I don't, sooner or later, I will actually read off the characters. And then, one of these races. I could use the Starman, but I do not want to cut off the awesome music. That's why I haven't used the Starman. Otherwise, I would have been using items. The one good thing about the game of Starman, me not wanting to play it so I don't cut off the music off, is at least it makes me focus on making sure I get more coins. That's why I would have put as much effort or focus into getting coins had I actually been using. Items. Okay, the final lap cut it off, so now I'm using it. One to start using items in two, because I didn't want to get fired. Sorry, music, I must cut you off. Anyway, I didn't remember, so I'll read out the characters once it does its swapping. <clears throat> anyway, Toad, Donkey Kong, Baby Mario, Isabel, Link, Funky Kong, Larry, Wendy, Pingo, Peach, Birdo, Luigi. Got Birdo a second time. Unfortunately, she and Funky Kong are the only two Booster Course Pass DLC characters here. At least we got Isabel and Link representing the Legend of Zelda and Animal Crossing of the original Wii U DLC. Sucks that there's not any freaking uh, any of the other marketing deluxe exclusive characters that were in initially added in the Switch version of the game. No King Boo, Dry Bones, Bowser Jr., uh, or any of the others. Damn Koopalings. And all the versions of Mario, and unless I had another version I'm not remembering from the previous set of races, um, the previous two videos, uh, Baby Mario is the only version of Mario. That we've got. So anyway, we got Lucky Cat Cup, Ninja Hideaway. Definitely, I'm not saying it's my favorite. If it's my favorite or not, but Ninja Hideaway is definitely the best course of the uh, of the uh, cup. One of the best tour tracks in the game. Period. Cool music, cool theme. There's all the different paths. But yeah, definitely would say it's no contest because it is by far, no question, the weakest of all the city tour tracks and the weakest of all of the tour tracks in the game. And I would say it's possibly the weakest course. Actually, no, it's the in the bottom three or bottom five of the weakest courses in the game. But there's one course that ranks that I would rank even lower than Tokyo Blur for being the one of the worst courses in the game. But Tokyo, Tokyo Blur. Bottom three, bottom five courses in the game, period, but, and the worst of all the tour tracks, not just the city tracks, but at the same time, of course, also the least favorite of this cup. It is absolutely, without a doubt, the boring ice outpost of the frickin' Mario Kart tour tracks. It has good music, it has like, awesome visuals. But it's just such a bland horse. But the one thing that it can be said about it is at least all the paths in the course flow very well together for whatever all different versions they had to pull up the tour and put together to make 
this course what it is in this game, but this course is definitely, again, very boring, very bland in terms of what you're racing at. The music's good, the visuals, they're awesome and cool. You always gotta love seeing the extras in the background. You always see Shy Guys and other characters, Toads and other characters. And then, of course, all the details, like stuff that's got uh, text on signs. Doesn't seem like there's much of any of that in this. But again, like I, the one thing I said previously, I'm gonna reiterate here is one, the one thing, that, one of the few good things that can be said about this course is it does slow very well together. It's very, it, plenty easy enough to race on 200cc. But yeah, uh, uh, I'm at least glad that we got one of the Kongs that was at in the final wave of Boosterors Pass. We got Funky. Now I was hoping we get at least him or getting one of the two of them, so that's a yay. Damn you, Toad. Frickin', what the heck? I thought I had second. Damn you, Jew. Anyway, I would put Ninja High away, and again, it's not because of the bullcrap that I had to deal with doing the 200 me, the 200 CC time trial coast. Even though that was one of the worst things I did for all the time trial stuff for um, the Bruce Course Pass, the past couple of years, and I didn't really do too much this year, if any, but it, definitely 2022, 2023. But anyway. Um, GBA Sky Garden, I wish I could say it was my favorite course of the cup, but unfortunately I can't because of how much they dumbed it down. I love how gorgeous it looks, but again, it sucks that like you don't drive on as much of the Sky High Garden, the beanstalks and stuff as it used to be. They made two they did two things to it that they really shouldn't have. One, they made too much of a road that wasn't road originally, and two, they dumbed it down way too much. If they made it more akin to the DS, the like revamping it, a revamp version of the DS, of course, not just visuals, but uh, spice things up a bit. Took the DS version and spice things up a bit. That would have been better for it, but <clears throat> unfortunately, they took the Eye Garden and did definitely not made it as grandiose as it used to be. That said, not entirely sorry to do this. I would say Ninja Hideaway is the best course of the cup, but I still give Shermbridge my favorite of the cup. I love that it was brought back. It does suck that the, it, it is one of the tracks from the first couple three ways that suffered from having the, the not as good looking visuals. For being an early uh, Booster Course Pass track, it is definitely got better visuals than other tracks, and I do love the visuals of it. It does still suck that there are, it does, there is plenty of eking of the tour graphics in this course, especially in the grass and mountains, but you can look past that, there is good graphics to be had in this course, but in terms of racing on, it's my favorite of the course, or of the cup as well, not just my favorite of the cup. It's... Ninja Highway is a better course for not being at 200cc. And that's not why I put this, and any hard class I put this as my favorite of the cup. That's not the reason why I chose this over. Um, not the reason why I chose it over Ninja Highway's favorite of the cup, or course of the cup. <clears throat> I'm adjusting something right now, and it's not my body, so it's not a TMI thing, but anyway. Ugh, dang this crap, I'm having to freaking pause to deal with. Toad, get the frick out! Really, you think you two up yours? Good star man, give me that thing. No ghost, no light, I don't have to worry about losing it.
Anyway, I actually turned up cup. I said that there, either bottom three or bottom five is in, of all the courses of the game is where I put Tokyo Blur, and other one of my bottom five would be Boring Ice Outpost. But the number one for contender for the worst course in the game, and the one course in the game that I will say is the only course I will say this about. Not only is it the worst in the game, but it is the one course in the game that I would say should not have been brought into the game. There were so many other better tracks that could have been brought back in the game throughout the course of Mario Kart 8 DLC, not just Booster Horse Pass, but also Wii U. There is one course in the game that should not have brought been brought back in favor of a better track. And that is none other than the king of the worst tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Circuit 3. They reused the Wii, the, uh, the, the either DS or Wii, I'm not sure which one. If they remake, I don't know if the, the version of the Super Mario Circuit re, the music in Mario Kart DS, I don't know if they re, it did a different version of that from Mario Kart Wii or if they reused it. But regardless, whether it's the Mario Kart DS version or the Mario Kart Wii, version if the Wii version is different whichever one of those two games it is they reused the soundtrack so they didn't even give it a new remix when they already did two previous good remixes of Mario Circuit 3 they did one for the uh Mount Mustache Mario Kart level in Super Mario 3D World and they also did a not as good version from that one a remix of the Mario Circuit music in um uh Super Mario Odyssey but with those both being good remixes of this uh, uh, the, uh, the soundtrack from the Mario Circuit courses throughout the Mario Kart series from SNES Super Mario Kart, it is a damn shame that they did not at least give it a freaking better remix. It's like they just picked it like, oh hey, let's just pick this, pour it from tour, polish the graphics a little bit, not even remix the soundtrack, and that's it. So, on top of being the worst show rack in the game and the one course in the game that I would say should not have been brought back in favor of a much better track than this one, it also suffers from not even getting a new remix as well. So by far, hands down, without a doubt, in my opinion, the weakest and worst course in the game and the one course that should not be in the game at all. Mario Circuit 3. And it is cool that, it, like, one one of the couple things I will give it positively is I will say it is cool that it was a Mario Kart Wii and that one of the horses that was brought back in Mario Kart Wii and brought back in this game, but that's not saying much considering all the stuff I just, all the negative shade I just threw at Mario Circuit 3. It's a fine course, it has good shortcuts, I like the music even though it, it stupidly didn't get a remixed soundtrack. It's a shame while Luigi Pinball didn't, but at least that course is like, Ah, it's a shame they didn't give it another remix and they just reused the, the remix that we got originally with the Wii U version of the game from uh, Wario Stadium from Mario Kart but that was a whatever. That was like a disappointment. I was hoping they remixed it, but at the same time, it's like, eh. I knew they were going to do it, so it went up or whatever. But again, Mario Circuit 3 being one of, if I'm correct, three courses in the throughout the entirety of the Booster Cards Pass that did not get a proper remix at all. Mario Circuit 3 while you pinball, and then the other one I'll get to when we get to that uh, course's cup. But anyway, again, major rants of Mario Circuit 3, the one course in the game. Like, all the people I can see them making an argument that should not have been in the game since it was already in uh, three prior games of this. They the, they could make the argument for is Bramble Road SNES should not have been brought back in the game. I like it. I'm glad it was brought back, but I can understand people making the argument for that course that it should not have been brought back when it was, had just been brought back in Mario Kart 7 a few years prior to it coming back as DLC in the first wave of DLC for the Wii U version of the game. But yeah, again, all this talking and blabbing and ranting about Mario Circuit 3 and how it should have been right back in the game, and is the worst course in the game, in addition to being my least favorite in this cup, by a country mile. Let's finally race this thing, Mario Circuit 3. Gonna spend a fraction of the amount of time I just when I'm talking about it and a couple other freaking things actually raising on it because it'll as long as I don't get screwed too much by item shenanigans it won't be more than a minute and a half like they with how short this is especially during DC they should have at least carried over the five laps that originally had that's not surprising considering um I think Super Circuit was the only I could be wrong, but I think Super Circuit was the only game that did not, or the, the only game that actually carried over the original five laps for the uh, Super Mario Kart tracks. 
uh, marker and DS and beyond for all the courses that have proper retro courses never had the uh, SNES courses having more than three laps. I think they dumbed down uh, maybe Park in Marker DS to either four or five laps in the original seven, but thankfully in this version of the game, maybe Park actually got, got its freaking seven laps back that it had in Marker Double Dash. You gotta love what they did with Baby Park in this game. That they have the the uh, each lap that you pass the or each lap each time you progress a lap further a lap in Baby Park that you or the, the music gets slightly higher or fa slightly faster and higher pitched every single time you pass the checkpoint. That was definitely a super cool thing that they opted to do with Baby Park in this game. In addition to in the Wii U version originally, in addition to uh, actually giving it back to seven laps it had in Double Dash, at the same time they also made it slightly, the music get slightly faster and higher pitched every time you pass the check, or the uh, starting finish line. Every time you progress a lap, it got, the music gets slightly faster and higher pitched. <clears throat> anyway, I will say, while you Pinball by far the best course in the cup, one of the best courses to come back in the Booster Course Pass, no question, but my marker 64 bias, Calamari Desert. My favorite of the cup, and I would say slightly, in my opinion, slightly behind Waluigi Pinball. In addition to being my favorite of the cup, it also has the awesomeness of uh, being like the tour variant where you... I think tour, I'm fairly certain I learned it was either from Nathaniel Banny or Slim Kirby or someone else that... Uh, it wasn't a new thing what they did with the different laps in this course, it was actually straight up how it was in Mario Kart Tour when it was brought back to that game. But still, the first lap is how it was in Nintendo 64, the second lap you actually drive on the train tracks and drive in and through the tunnel, and then the third lap you can either continue the tracks all the way to the end of the course, driving to where I'm at right now, and or if you want to, you can opt to um, Drive over the train tracks how you uh, do normally in the N64 and Mario 7 versions of the game. So yeah, it's like, oh wait, yeah, where I just drove over, you can either opt to go that direction, or you can follow the tracks all the way to the end um, in the third lap. You can do either or. Well, that's a cool thing. That's one thing I don't know. That might have been more restrictive. That might be one thing that was different and more restrictive in the... Uh, Tour version of the course, I obviously have no idea. Well, I can't say obviously, but I have no idea because I've never played the game. Um, got a newer phone earlier this year, so even though I haven't touched it, maybe I'll never touch it. I have a phone that has lots of storage space on it, so for the hell that I did download Mario Kart Tour 2, my game within like the past month or so, or to my phone. I did download Mario Kart Tour 2 to my phone. At some point with the past month or so. I may roll never touch it, but I figure what the hell. I got a newer phone that's got lots of storage space on it. I might as well just for the heck of it in case I ever actually do decide to play it, which I highly doubt it will download Mario Kart Tour to my phone. Also downloaded something else that I may never touch, but figure what the heck might as well, and that is uh, Pokemon Masters. Anyway, to, it sucks that because the, to, there are so many instances in these cups where uh, the tour, one of the tour tracks is my least favorite course of the cup that I'm showing off so many of the lame tour tracks in this. But oh well, it is definitely showing off one of the weakest parts of Marker 8 slash Deluxe as a whole in terms of the tracks. And <laughs> continuing the trend of too many tour tracks being my least favorite courses of all the cups. Sydney Sprint is my least favorite course of the cup. It is cool and it all is also awesome. It's one of the courses that you drive backwards. I think it's on the third lap you drive backwards. I'm not exactly sure if it's the second and third lap or what, but at least one of the laps you drive backwards uh, from how you did previously. I just realized that's another thing that I didn't think to mention about uh, uh, Prime Earth's Promenade. I think on the last lap you're driving backwards from how the first lap goes. <clears throat> But anyway, Sky High Sunday, I would say, would definitely be a, a runner-up for second least favorite course in the cup, but unlike other people that are like, oh, hey, I don't like Sky High Sunday because 
of the fact that it is a, uh, it, it, it's uh, an oval shape. It's like, um, for what the course has in it and what you drive on, and plus some of the things you can jerk off of and stuff and the turns that it has, I like it a lot better than other people do. I hold, I love Sky High on Sunday, not just for the music, but what you grace on, and I do hold it in a much higher regard than other people. But anyway, Sydney Sprint, let's go. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I want to say in terms of the city tour tracks, at the very least the city tour tracks, I would put this at the high, the higher part of the lower end of the best and worst tour tracks. Like I would take take the this this would be the high on the higher end, probably top three or top five of the lower half of the worst lower half that is the worst tour tracks in the game. So, basically, to put it in simple terms, I say that this course is, it's good, like the music, and am saying that this course, actually, you know, the main point is here and now, and that is this. In my opinion, this course is one of the most mid-course, mid, it is one of the most mid-city tour courses in the game. So... I like it, but at the same time, when it comes to taking all of the tour tracks in consideration on the whole, I would say this is definitely one, by far one of the most mid-tour C tracks in the game. And I'll just say this to kind of add on to my freaking Mars Circuit 3 rant. It is leagues better of a track than freaking Mario Circuit 3. <laughs> and no doubt for the first half of the Boozy Rest Pass DLC, I would absolutely put this course as uh, on the lower half of the best and worst courses of the first half of the Booster Course Pass DLC. <clears throat> I need some water from all my talking. Ah. Anyway, um, before I get to my favorite course of the cup, up, I mean, the course I'm about to talk about is going to give it away, but oh well. <clears throat> Mushroom Gorge. I love the course. It does suck that it suffers from being not as good looking as it could have been because of being one of the earlier tour tracks, or tour tracks, uh, booster course paths. It's, it's one of the earlier booster course paths, so unfortunately it does suffer from not looking as good as courses in later waves of the booster course pass DLC, but... Even with that aside, love how, still love how gorgeous it looks, especially the inside cave section. I love the driving. I do love that they uh, allow you to take both left and right paths originally, as in this may be the case in tour. I don't know, but still, you can take the right and left paths as they were originally in the Wii version of Mushroom Gorge. At the same time, they did include the blue mushroom that you can bounce on, and it's your glider path. The blue, blue mushroom in the cave section is the glider panel. It's essentially the glider panel, so you take the blue mushroom inside the cave and it gives you the glider panel. So, again, you can go right and left fully all the way, like in the original Wii version, and at the same time, if you want to, you can take the blue mushroom from the Mario 7 version of the game that allows you to use the gl uh, glider. So, again, it, even though it, it, it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the we definitely one of the weaker Booster Horse Pass tracks at the same time, and again, it plays basically the same as it did originally with the blue mushroom in the cave section of the Mario Kart 7 version of the game. And I do like it. It's, again, like, lower end, almost mid-lower end, but lower end of the Booster Cars Pass tracks. Still like it. It's all gorgeous. It looks despite being rougher because of not being, or because of being one of the early Booster Cars Pass tracks. But for me, the biggest disappointment of Mushroom Gorge, by far, no question at all, is 
it is the other track I was referring to, but in addition to Wally's U Pinball and Mario Circuit 3, that did not get a remix soundtrack. Especially for being an earlier uh, Booster Horse Pass track, and with, uh, despite that, how gorgeous it still was to me, especially inside the cave section, it is a freaking crime that Nintendo did not give this course an awesome remix. Like, that was what, the, like, to me, this is still, even more so than Mario Circuit 3 being in the game, to me, this is by far the biggest WT actual F from Nintendo of the Booster Wars Pass as a whole. Why did Mushroom Gorge not get a remix? The course looks so incredible. Again, I like the original soundtrack, don't get me wrong, but this course, with how good it looks, especially being an early Booster Wars Pass, absolutely deserve a remix. Nintendo, why did you not give this track an awesome remix? Especially considering this is going to be the last time this game is in Mar any Mario Kart game. Mushroom Wars will not be brought back in the future Mario Kart game. So why did you not give it a remix, Nintendo? Seriously, make it make sense, because it does not. Anyway, Mushroom Wars ran all over. Favorite horse of the track, which you guys have already known, that have actually watched the whole video to, up to this point, or at the very least, the past 5-10 minutes of it. GB Snowland, by far my favorite horse of the cup. I would definitely put it in my higher end of, of my favorite Booster Horse Pass bringbacks. And again, just like Mushroom Gorge, for being an earlier Booster Horse Pass track, the graphics of it look gorgeous. They Again, I'm sure the mountains and snow probably could have looked better and more detailed than they were, but on the whole, especially for what it was for being an earlier Booster Horse Pass track, the course actually looks gorgeous. Love the freaking remix. Lovely how they revamped it from the original. Even if this is a, a HGified version of the tour bring back. If it was brought back in tour, I don't know if it was brought back in tour or not. Maybe I did know back in 2022 or last year. I do not know now. But now is my favorite course of the cup. It is definitely one I have in a, 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 a much higher regard. Definitely in the upper half of my favorite horses. I would say if I had to guess, it would be somewhere in my top 15 to top 20. I'm going to guess top 15 favorite Booster Horse Pass Tracks. Booster Horse Pass Tracks. Yeah, I said that right. But um, definitely, I would say in my top two, uh, is in my either top two or top three favorite uh, Super Circuit Horses that were brought back as part of the Booster Horse Pass. And definitely, I would say top five, including Cheeseland and uh, Ribbon Road, I would say this is in e definitely in my top five. If not top three, at least my top five for my favorite. I would say top three. Those three would be my top three. But at the very least, those three, including this one, are my top in my top five for my favorite super circuit horses that is that were brought back in Mario Kart 8 as a whole. Love this horse a lot. And again, the remix is so good. The crystals in the background is so awesome. The crystals, I'm fairly certain, were in the background of this course originally in Mario Kart Super Circuit. So to see that, and again, it makes sense that they did, but so to see that brought back and translated into being giant, big, gorgeous crystals in the background was so awesome and such an awesome decision. Gotta love it again. Another other things, among other things, they give this course more elevation. They give these penguins. Uh, they might have been in the original, I don't think they were, uh, but they also gave this horse snowmen in the background. They just did so much incredible and so much right with this. And among other th praises I've given this horse, I would also have to say that I would definitely put this in my top five, at very least top ten, but if not, I would put this in my top five of my favorite horses brought back in the first half of the Booster Horse Pass. Snowland, you cannot go, in my opinion, you cannot go wrong with Snowland. It is an incredible bring back, an incredible remake. They did Snowland incredibly beautiful and gorgeous justice. I, like, again, did you guys can tell, I, from whatever, all the praises I've given this course, I have nothing but major praise for Nintendo for how incredibly well they handled Snowland. Amazing, awesome track. Anyway, continuing the trend of my least favorite two uh, courses in the cups in the game of the Booster Course Pass, London Loop gets that award for least favorite course of this uh, cup. I would put Rock Rock Mountain in my second least favorite. Because Rock Rock Mountain is pretty much... A, I, I want to say the side path on that is... Uh, 
that you can go and take as a shortcut was in the Mario Kart 7 version. I don't remember regardless. Unless I'm wrong on that, Mario Kart Mountain is literally an HDified version of the Mario Kart 7 version of the track. Unfortunately, with a lot of the blemishes of the the uh, courses from the first two waves that you can very clearly tell has a lot of those HDFI tour textures. <clears throat> and London Loop is, I would say, uh, definitely for sure in, in the lower half of the city tour tracks in the game and all the tour tracks as a whole. But even though I do like, I think, I think I'm the last lap you drive backwards. But regardless, um. I like this course. I don't, I'm not as I can't say fond of it. Like I'm not as big on. It. I'll put it like that. I'm not as big on this course as I used to be, or as favorable to it. I'll say it, that's the best way to word it. I'm not as favorable to this course as I used to be. It's definitely for the more bland tour tracks. It's definitely one of the more interesting of the bland city tour tracks. But even so, for sure, this is in my top bottom ten of the tour city i'll just say tour tracks on the whole is in my bottom 10 if not bottom 10 of five at the very least my bottom 10 tour tracks in this game brought back in this game and if not five or less it's at least down to six or seven for my bottom tracks for all the tour tracks in the game not just the city tracks for the city tracks specifically bottom five for sure do I have? Okay, I don't have total controls on. Not that it would have it would affect me that much, but still, I had a feeling on the controller and made me wonder. Okay, let me see. Do I have total controls on or not? No, I don't. Good. Thanks for the boost, Luigi. Crap. Okay, mushroom. Thank you. I need the boost. Damn you Donkey Kong, you piece of crap ape. I'm just glad that that green shell that I seen did not hit me. Gah! Son of a crap, I could have got first. And I think that was my own green shell, not one of theirs. Come on, really game? Read my middle finger. Stupid shenanigans. Oh well, if I had to choose one of the tracks to freaking get less than six plays on and get the sad music, it would absolutely be one of the freaking lesser tour tracks, so... There's that. <laughs> anyway, in the past, I would have absolutely said Blue Lake is my... In the past, it actually was. I would have said Blue Lake is my favorite course of the cup. I do love it and hold in high regard. I know it's a shorter course, but still, what they did with it is awesome. The graphics are gorgeous and incredible. I, I gotta love that they added Luigi's Mansion in the background of the course. That definitely was not a thing in Super Circuit. Is I I want to say uh, I, Luigi's Mansion came out in 2000 or 2001, but regardless, Super Circuit was it was it too many months after Luigi's Mansion came out. The Super Circuit came out, so Luigi's Mansion, unless I'm wrong, was definitely not a. Uh, thing in the background of that course in Super Circuit, but again, love the course, love the visuals, love the awesome remix, gotta love the, even if it, even if it wasn't true, I gotta love the underwater section and how they revamped Blue, Blue Lake, and again, for being an awesome, good looking course, especially for being one of the first half, a, a boosting course pass track that was in the first half of the boost course pass, again, have super high regard for it, love that a lot. And even though, in terms of it being much better, well, more granular streaming because Maple Tree Away is pretty much, not entirely, but it is pretty much it's the, the same as it was in Mario Kart 7. Um, even though, again, Blue Lake is more grandiose than Maple Tree Away because Maple Tree Away is more the same, whereas Blue Lake is more revamped than it was in Super Circuit. I still say, and in the past, I wouldn't have had this view, but. 
uh, now more recently, it's like, yeah, Maple True, I even though I love Boo Lake, a very close second to me, but I gotta give my favorite course of this cup to Maple Tree Way. Awesome course, looks gorgeous, gotta love the remix. I want to say even now, I still like this remix. Now, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'd flip-flop on that, but at the very least, super close. But if I had to make a guess, I would say that it still holds to be, me to be the case that this, the remix of this track in this game, I love even more than the awesome remix of this song, of this course's soundtrack that was in none other than the new Super Mario Bros. Wii ROM hack, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii for the autumn courses in that er, levels. For the autumn levels in newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Again, it, like my first time I heard this, I was like, wow. As much as I love the Maple Tree Maple Tree Way remix from newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, I love this remix even more. Like like I'm sure it could have been even, even better and more gorgeous, but like almost anything you can think that's ever been created has room for where it could have been improved slash like, better than it was or what what it actually is when it comes to the final product but I will now say this when it comes to this horse's remix soundtrack Nintendo knocked out of the park it is such a, an incredibly beautiful gorgeous remix of this horse's soundtrack that I actually managed to freaking top the newer Super Mario Bros. Wii Remix for me. And I was very and happy and impressed by that. Oh yeah, I just realized, when I did my uh, initial reactions to the courses, playing them for the first time, using time trials as a means to do that, and listen to the soundtracks for the first time, I know that I was in awe. I don't know if I mentioned that specifically in that video, but I do definitely know that this, for me, definitely, I was surprised and I'm like, whether or not I said it in the video or videos in the past, I absolutely, without a doubt, and I think I still hold that to be the case to this day, say that what I've already said previously, in the past couple of minutes, this soundtrack, and remake soundtrack in this game, for me, is I love even more than the awesome remix of it that we got in the ROM hack New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Love the soundtrack a lot, and again, especially for being first in the first half of the Booster Force Fast Track, the course looks gorgeous. And along the likes of uh, Coconut Mall, another awesome classic that's good. And considering it's one of the few courses that was brought back in, uh, uh, that was. Uh, brought back in Mario Kart 7 and brought back in Mario Kart 8, and also, in addition to that, one of the courses that was originally from Mario Kart Wii brought back in Mario Kart 7 and then brought back again in Mario Kart 8. It is awesome that with how incredible this course is between its music and the track itself, that Michael Treeway was able to get one last hurrah on the Booster Course Pass. Anyway, love Berlin Byways, definitely in my upper half of the, I would say the tour tracks as a whole, and definitely on the upper half of my favorite courses of the City Tour Tracks, I would say when it comes to the City Tour Tracks, I would easily put this on my top five. Berlin Byways, awesome. The, the I would say, if not the best, the second or third best uh, tour track remix in the game. <clears throat> As well, I love the course. Uh, I think you are at least back, backwards at least on, on at least one of the laps. Actually, you know what? I'm going to continue on my Berlin Byways thing, but I just thought of something. So that said, um... Berlin Byways, I would put it in my top three, if not top five, at the very least. Tour City Tracks, definitely top ten, if not top five. Tour Tracks on the whole. Love the remix, I love what you race on. Other people think it's more bland. I think it stands out more than that, what you race on, especially specifically in 200cc. And I don't think in the past I considered it my least favorite course of the Cup either. If I had thought of what my actual least favorite course is, I might not have gotten as in depth on my praise for Berlin Byways between what you race on and its awesome bopping soundtrack. But I do have to say, I love Berlin Byways, and the other course is, of course, another tour track. But it may be gorgeous, have a lot of awesome details, have the awesome music, and gorgeous sky. Like about all the cool little bells and whistles you'd want in a Christmas course, but even so, 
with what you race on. Like, for me, I could see it be definitely being... Well, anyway, first, before I continue my talking, Mary Martin is my least favorite course of the cup. Um, when it comes to compared to... I had to check something real quick. Um, when it comes compared to... What was the course? Damn it. Mary Mountain. Um, I can't remember what the hell the thing was I was comparing it to. Oh, uh, Sunday Sprint. Uh, Sky High Sunday. When it comes to compared to Sky High Sunday, I could see someone else making the argument that I like from their perspective, that they like Mary Mountain more than Sky High Sunday, and the Sky uh, Mary Mountain is a better course than Sky High Sunday. But to me, Sky High Sunday has more going for it for what you drive and the awesome visuals of it. So, in my opinion, even though Mary Mountain is an awesome Christmas course for what it has going for, in my opinion, I'd actually put Sky High Sunday above Mary Mountain. I I personally love Sky High Sunday enough that I would easily put at least one or two tracks above Mary Mountain for the tour tracks, but again, yeah, Mario Mountain is good for what it is, but what I have said in the past, I'm just not remembering, is I like to consider, and I would put it at least three or four or five tracks above the course of my dimension now, but I do consider Mary Mountain uh, boring ice ice outpost, but what I call it is boring ice outpost. I do consider Mary Mountain to be boring ice outpost 2.0, more interesting and cooler track, definitely a few tra at least a couple three if not a few tracks higher than I would put Boring Ice Outpost, but I would still consider Mary Mountain to definitely be um, Boring Ice Outpost 2.0. But for me, for the tour tracks as a whole, I would absolutely put Mary Mountain on the lower end of the tour tracks. Now, if not, it would be in the bottom three or four of the upper half of my favorite tour tracks. But anyway, all this talking about Mary Mountain aside, let's play it. <clears throat> and I can also absolutely see people saying that they like Mary Mountain better than Berlin Byways as well. It's like, would I agree with that? No, I would strongly disagree with that. But I can see people saying that. Sorry, Berlin Byways. I mean, I, I can't say sorry too much. I can't say sorry that I'm not able to show you all because I like you. You're an awesome course, awesome bop of music, but at the same time, there's no way with, to me, how bland, for what it, well, Murray Mountain is and what it does have going for it at the same time, for how bland it is for what you're actually raising on, which is, to me, uh, in my opinion, more of a boring loop. Not super boring, but more of a boring loop than what other people consider Sky as a nitty be. Um, Berlin Byways, be honored in the fact that you were definitely not my least favorite course in this cup because of what I consider the cons of Mary Mountain. That is, like, Mary Mountain is good and cool. Again, awesome visuals, got all the Christmas theme, the music, etc. You gotta love the altitude at the end part of the lap. And I can't remember where my thought was, but I wanted to continue off from after that, damn it. A cursed human attendance ban. But yeah, with helmet. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Mary Mountain is by far. Without a doubt, not just one of the most mid-tour, in my opinion, not one, of, not just one of the most mid-tour tracks in the game, but as a whole, it is definitely, in my opinion, one of the most mid-course, mid-courses in the entirety of Mario Kart 8 as a whole. Anyway guys, I don't know if I'm going to cut the video off here for the second video or not when I go back to split the videos into two or if I did it over race or two before this. But regardless right now, and if I, this is part of the second video, then I will of course cut out the there. 
but I do have a thing I need to take care of for probably a couple three minutes so I'm gonna leave this here and whether it's in the next video or in just a, a little bit after a cut in this the second video I will see you guys in just a bit well in just a bit if it's the second video if it's the first video I'll see you guys in the next video regardless of whether that's the Saturday after the Tuesday or if this ends up being a Saturday video and then ends up being a week and a half from that video before you guys see the second video but anyway Regardless, for what I'm recording, I will be back in a bit. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I'm finally back. I've been back in my room a couple times taking care of things, but of course, any of that I have cut out of the video, whichever one it is, or was, if this is part of the beginning of the second video. But anyway, time for Root Cup. No contest, Amsterdam Drift. My least favorite course of the game, another or course of the game, cup, good lord. Least favorite course of the cup, Amsterdam Drift. I like it, I like the soundtrack. I think it's the one that has the flower field in the third lap of it. Session, whatever you call it. So, <sighs> I like it a lot for what it is, but at the same time, I want to say it's, whether it's on the higher or lower end of the city tracks and all the tour tracks, would definitely say it is definitely one of the most mid tour tracks in the game, despite that gorgeous flower part at the end of the court or end of the race. Come on, really tall, you douche. The game is Donkey Kong player too. Come on, really? Yay, fail. Damn you, Burro, you douche. I cannot say you weren't brought back in Mark or like you used to be able to in the past because you have been brought back in the Boost Course Pass. Unintentional rhyming, yay. Come on, really? Give me a star, man. I don't know if it's the upper half or the lower half of the mid tracks, which means the upper half of the uh, lower half of the tour tracks or the lower half of the upper half of the tour tracks. But much as I love the visuals, the soundtrack, the, the soundtrack is definitely one of the most mid tour soundtracks in the game. That I will say with almost certainty. And I do like the soundtrack, but you go to do that, I love the windmills. In the houses, a lot of cool visuals in it, but it, it, at the same time, even though there's a lot of cool visuals and it's a decent amount for a decent for what you race on, it is definitely I would probably put it at least one or two on uh, a one, two, or three up on the most mid tour tracks of the game. 